I have asked you to buy paper. Some of you may have your paper, some of you may not. You may have it, but you haven't brought it up to the shop yet. All that's fine. Um, if you don't have your paper with you today, I still want you to print, and I will spot you some paper. And then when you bring your paper up to the shop, you can repay me in paper. So no money changing hands with that, okay? This is two sheets of a paper called Hesia, Magnani Hesia. I did not ask you to buy this paper. It's actually a better quality paper than what I asked you to buy. I'm going to be demoing with it. I might give you this. You can return it with the Arnhem. The Arnhem is an almost as good paper as the paper I've asked you to buy. Um, as you know, we have many straight edges there for measuring, for cutting, and for ripping. We have one additional one. It lives right here on the side of the great tool cabinet. This one is specifically for ripping. This crooked side is the side that you would rip against. Notice that good paper has a decal. That rough edge is called a decal. This paper, as your Arnhem will, will have two sides that are deckled and two sides that are cut. This is not quite a handmade sheet of paper, but it's halfway between handmade and machine made. They have a machine, and this comes off of a roll as the paper is being manufactured. And the roll is this wide and infinitely long. That's what gives you the decal on two sides, and then that infinite roll has to be cut down to sheets. The standard size for art papers, and certainly for printmaking papers, is 22 inches by 30 inches. That is the size of the paper that I've asked you to buy, with the exception of the Japanese paper. So we are going to be quartering each of these sheets for your project. My demo, instead of a quarter sheet, is a full half sheet. So you're going to see me cut these in half, but your paper, you're going to quarter because if you take the 15 by 22 and quarter it, you're going to have 11 by 15, which is the size of the mock-up that I asked you to do, okay? Now, whether you decide to rip your paper or cut it is entirely up to you. It's an aesthetic decision. If you rip the paper to mimic the decal, you draw more attention to paper as object, to print as object. If you cut, and especially if you cut off the decal, you are reducing the attention that the paper will demand so that you emphasize the image. There is no right or wrong decision around that. But both have implications for how your work will be perceived. Many printmakers care deeply about paper. They care about the decal. So you will see a lot of printmakers preserving the decal, ripping their paper, but that's up to you. You will also see printmakers who cut their paper because they want the discussion and the perception to be about the image, okay? Cutting is pretty straightforward. You would use probably that yellow one with the guard, you don't have to hand it to me, but you know where it is, or you can use these other big ones too. But let me demo the ripping. I generally don't measure and mark. What I do is I use the grid on the table, even as loose as it is, that's okay. And I just count up, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. There's the center, right there. And then I would grab this, and I have already squared it with the grid here and on this side, so that if I match the edge of the straight edge with the grid here and here, I should be good. Okay? You can see that the crooked side of the straight edge is the side I'm gonna rip against. I need to hold that down really securely with one hand. I'm gonna rip one sheet at a time to be on the safe side. And when you pull, you can't pull only down. 
and you can't pull only over. You have to pull at a 45 degree angle, okay? So I start by holding right here, and I pull this way. Hold down the straight edge, nice and secure, and then do a confident pull. But the pull has to be continuously this way. Not just down, not just over, but at a 45 degree angle. Oops. Some people, instead of doing one big movement, it might be a little bit safer to go a little bit and then move your hand down. And a little bit more, move your hand down. A little bit more, move your hand down. Okay? One big movement, you're a little more apt to the rip at the last few inches to kind of meander. Okay? Stop video. <laughs> 